हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल नारायण एजुकेशन टुडे टॉपिक इज जीएलपी दैट इज गुड लेबोरेटरी प्रैक्टिसेस इट वाज फर्स्ट स्टार्टेड इन न्यूजीलैंड एंड डेनमार्क इन 1972 ओके फर्स्ट स्टार्टेड इन न्यूजीलैंड एंड डेनमार्क इन 1972 इन इंडिया इट केम एज एन जी सी एम ए मेंट एन जी सी एम ए इट केम एज दैट मेंट नेशनल जी एल पी कॉम्प्लायंस मॉनिटरिंग अथॉरिटी सो इन इंडिया इट केम एज नेशनल जी एल पी कॉम्प्लायंस मॉनिटरिंग अथॉरिटी अंडर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी इट वॉज इस्टेब्लिश बाय द गवर्मेंट ऑफ इंडिया इन अप्रैल टू थाउजेंड टू ओके इन अप्रैल टू थाउजेंड टू इट केम इन इंडिया एज एन जी सी एम ए इट्स मेम्बर्स आर वन चेयरमैन एंड अदर मेम्बर्स आर द सेक्रेटरीज ऑफ कंसर्न डिपार्टमेंट ओके एंड द चेयरमैन इज द सेक्रेटरी ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सो द साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट सेक्रेटरी इज द चेयरमैन ऑफ एन जी सी एम ए एंड इट्स हेडक्वाटर इज इन न्यू दिल्ली सो नाउ वी टॉक अबाउट इट्स प्रिंसिपल दैट वॉट आर द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ जी एल पी वॉट इज द बेसिक फंक्शन ऑफ जी एल पी जी एल पी मेंट इट इज एन एफ डी ए रेगुलेशन ओके इट इज एन एफ डी ए रेगुलेशन इट इज अ सेट ऑफ प्रिंसिपल्स दैट प्रोवाइड अ फ्रेमवर्क विद इन विच लेबोरेटरी स्टडीज आर प्लान परफॉर्म मॉनिटर्ड आर्चिव एंड रिपोर्टेड नॉन क्लिनिकल एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज इट टेक्स अबाउट दैट सो इट इज एन एफ डी ए रेगुलेशन सो नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट द प्रिंसिपल्स इट वॉज प्रोवाइडेड बाय द principles are provided by oecd so oecd it provide the principle organization of economic cooperation development it provide the principles of glp and the first principle is about the test facility organization and personnel first principle is the test facility organization and personnel so it provide the responsibility to test facility management study directors principal investigators and study personnel so it provide the responsibilities to that and what are the responsibilities of uh, all of these the uh, test fa facility management responsibility is that a document control system is in place it takes care about the document control system that uh, is in place a second it takes care about uh, purchase material meet specified requirements that the material we purchase it meets the specified requirements Th thirdly it takes care about the clear lines of communication should exist that the lines of communication should be clear fourthly it takes care about the computerized systems are suitable for intended purposes okay so all of these these four responsibilities are of test facility management second responsibility is of study director study director responsibility is what study director responsibility is to ensure that raw data are recorded raw data should be recorded sops meant standard operating procedure should be followed deviation should be acknowledged so all these are the responsibilities of the study director thirdly is the principal investigator responsibilities what are the responsibility of principal investigator so principal investigator responsibility is that educate training and supervision of the entire research team it takes care about the training and the supervision of entire research team it takes care fourthly is study personal responsibility study personal responsibility is that it uh, takes knowledge of glp principles it assess to sop it record raw data it exercise health precautions to minimize risk okay it records health precautions to minimize risk it ensure integrity of study so all these are the responsibilities of these four so that is the first principle that is a test facility organization and personnel in which it provides the responsibility to their respective departments next one is 
नेक्स्ट प्रिंसिपल इज अबाउट द क्वालिटी एश्योरेंस प्रोग्राम ना वॉट इज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ द क्वालिटी एश्योरेंस प्रोग्राम और वॉट इज द प्रोग्राम दैट इज इज दैट इट दिस प्रोग्राम मेंटेन कॉपीज ऑफ ऑल अप्रूव्ड स्टडी प्लान्स एंड एस ओ पीज सो इट मेंटेन कॉपीज ऑफ ऑल अप्रूव्ड स्टडी प्लान्स एंड एस ओ पीज ओके स्टैंडर्ड ऑपरेटिंग प्रोसीजर एस ओ पीज मैंड स्टैंडर्ड ऑपरेटिंग प्रोसीजर इट वेरीफाई दैट स्टडी प्लान कंटेन इंफॉर्मेशन रिक्वायर्ड फॉर कंप्लायंस विद जी एल पी सो इट वेरीफाइज ओके इट वेरीफाइज दैट स्टडी प्लान कंटेन इंफॉर्मेशन रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द कंप्लायंस विद जी एल पी ओके इट कंडक्ट इंस्पेक्शन ऑल्सो क्वालिटी एश्योरेंस प्रोग्राम इन दिस प्रोग्राम दिस प्रोग्राम कंडक्ट इंस्पेक्शन ऑल्सो देर आर फोर इंस्पेक्शन विच आर कंडक्टेड दैट इज फर्स्ट इज स्टडी बेस्ड स्टडी बेस्ड इंस्पेक्शन सेकेंड इज फैसिलिटी बेस्ड इंस्पेक्शन दैट वॉट टाइप ऑफ फैसिलिटीज आर प्रोवाइडेड इज द फैसिलिटीज प्रोवाइडेड आर करेक्ट और नॉट थर्डली इज द प्रोसेस बेस्ड इंस्पेक्शन सो थ्री इंस्पेक्शन आर फर्स्ट इज स्टडी बेस्ड सेकेंड इज फैसिलिटी थर्ड इज प्रोसेस बेस्ड so all the three are the inspection which are conducted by the glp that uh, in quality assurance program so that is the program which is conducted third third principle is about the facilities so third principle about the facilities in facilities it takes care about the that the suitable size construction suitable size construction location should be provided theek hai for equipments or for uh, any other purposes it uh, isolate it takes care about the isolation of test system and individual projects to protect from biological hazard okay it provides suitable rooms for diagnosis treatment and it controls the diseases also and it provides a storage room also so these are the facilities which are provided in glp good laboratory practices provide these facilities so next principle is about the apparatus materials and reagents what are the apparatus it it takes care that apparatus should be of approximate design and of adequate capacity okay so that is the it takes care about the that the apparatus is of approximate design and of adequate capacity it takes care about the chemical reagent okay in reagent it takes care about the chemical reagent and solution should be labeled so that to indicate what why should it should be labeled to indicate identity expiry and storage what date of expiry date of storage so this should be indicated on that so label should be provided because of expiry identity and storage it also takes care about the documented inspection cleaning maintenance and calibration of apparatus okay so it takes care all these things in detail next is the test system in test system it takes care about the physical chemical and biological in physical and chemical it takes care about the apparatus i had already told you apparatus that it should be suitably located and of approximate design and adequate capacity so that is the location design capacity okay so all these things are in physical and chemical test system in biological it takes care that should that there should be shops for housing feeding handling and care of animals so it takes care about animals also it uh, takes care that all in all newly received animals and their health status should be checked regularly by a veterinarian okay so these are the test system responsibilities it takes care that uh, date of arrival okay apparatus date of arrival condition what is the condition of that pest control agents so all these it takes care about that 
okay so that is the first fifth principle that is test system now the next principle is test and reference substances what are the reference substances what is the test system why we have to follow that it takes care that uh, it provide the data for receipt whenever a uh, equipment is provide so date of receipt is provided for that date of receipt is provided expiry date is there that already told you that labeling should be there on the product handling how to handle that product how to store that product sampling sampling that product so all these procedures should be identified and followed so that is the reference substances sops sops i had already told you standard operating procedure it uh, in sops it takes care about the routine uh, what is the routine of the personal inspection cleaning maintenance testing calibration okay so when equipment is when there is a equipment failure so action should be taken it keeps records reports storage mixing and retrieval of data okay so all these it takes care so in sop whenever there is a deviation from sop whenever there is a deviation whenever any personal deviates from sop standard operating procedure it should be documented and acknowledged by sd sd men study director and or principal investigator so study director or principal investigator so these two takes care about the whole process whole system that whether the system is followed correctly or not so the next principle is performance of study next is the performance of study in performance of study it takes care that the study plan should be made study plan should be made and should be followed whenever there is a deviation from the study plan it should be described explained and acknowledged by the study director or principal investigator like in sop okay so principal investigator or study director it acknowledge the study plan also next one is reporting of study results reporting of study load it includes the final report so the final report should include firstly it should include that the identification of study test items and reference item should be there in the report secondly information concerning the sponsor and the test facility thirdly it includes the dates expiry date date of receipt fourthly it should include the quality assurance program statement fifthly it should include description of test method sixthly it should include the result and seventhly is the storage where the equipments are stored so these are the reports final report this is the ninth principle next principle is storage and retention of records and materials so there are total 10 principles the 10th principle is storage and retention of records and materials where it should be stored and where it should be retained so the records and material should include the study plans raw data and samples secondly inspection data and master schedules thirdly standard operating procedure which procedure should be followed fourthly maintenance and calibration data should be there fifthly if there is any study material is disposed of before expiry the reason should be justified and documented okay sixthly is the index of material should be retained so the index of the material should be retained so these are the six points which included in the 10th principle that is storage and retention of records and materials so thank you so much and keep watching